Hey guys, how you doing? I'm doing great. Just got back from an awesome weekend and the weather is finally starting to feel pleasant here in New York, which is why I said, why not just take the unboxing studio out into my patio so that we can enjoy the wind and I can take you along with me. I'm really grateful because the last few videos we did, our 24 hour series on the Z Flip 4 and the Z Fold 4 have done really good, which tells us you want to see more of it, which is why we intend to do the same for these two new Vivo smartphones announced today, the Vivo V25 and V25 Pro. But before we can go out and shoot a 24 hour video with the V25 series, there's a lot we still need to do. We need to install some software updates, fully charge the batteries, and install some of my frequently used applications. So for now, we're going to film an unboxing, take a look at the specs, show you what's new, and then give you a sample of what this color changing magic the V series is known for is like on the new V25. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker, and over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the exciting people I get to meet along the way. And most importantly, I help you find the right gadget to match your needs. This is our Vivo V25 series unboxing and first look. If you live in the US, you might not be familiar with Vivo, but they're a very large and popular smartphone company. And I've been covering them since I first started this channel. They have a large market in India, Southeast Asia, and are starting to make waves in Europe. And they're a World Cup sponsor for the second World Cup in a row. Earlier this January, you might remember that I actually featured the Vivo V23 series, and these phones are that phone's successor. I have both phones right here. We'll start with the V25. There you go. Okay, let's take a look. Ooh, I believe this color is sunrise gold. And it's already been exposed to the sun. As you can see, it's already kind of changing color. Because of the sticker covering it, you can see what the original color is and what the rest of the phone changes into when hit by UV light. We'll leave that sticker on for now, shall we? All right. Also in the box, a clear jelly case, a warranty booklet, a 44 watt Vivo flash charge adapter, a USB-A to C cable, wired earphones with the uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack plug, a SIM card ejector tool, and a USB-C to headphone jack adapter. Considering that this phone is a budget or mid-range offering, it's pretty cool to see that Vivo includes everything in the box that more higher end phones do not offer anymore. For a while there, when I saw this pair of earphones with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack plug, I assumed the phone would come with a headphone jack, but the reality is you still need to use this bundled USB-C to headphone jack adapter, which makes me ask why they didn't just include a pair of USB-C headphones, but hey, at least all of this is included in the box. Now let's move on to the V25 Pro. I'm excited because the color we have here is called surfing blue. So let's take a look at it. Nice. The sun has kind of gone down, so the color change might not be as dramatic. But let's take a look. <laughs> All right, the sticker kind of helped us out. It starts out with this lighter blue, and then it changes into this richer ocean blue when hit by light. Also in the box, a clear jelly case, soft and malleable, a warranty booklet, a 66 watt Vivo flash charge adapter, USB-A to C cable, a pair of wired earphones, also with that 3.5 millimeter plug, SIM card ejector tool, and another USB-C to headphone jack adapter. 
All right, now that the unboxing is out of the way, let's find out how the Vivo V25 differs from the V25 Pro. It might not be so obvious when I have them side by side in my hands, but the V25 and the V25 Pro have different sizes. The V25 has a 6.44 inch display, while the V25 Pro has a 6.56 inch display. Both are AMOLED with full HD panels, but the V25 Pro has a 120 hertz refresh rate. And as you can see from this shot, the V25 Pro also has a display that curves on both of its edges, while the V25 has a flat panel. The other difference has to do with the kind of processor that runs these smartphones. The V25 Pro is powered by a MediaTek Dimensity 1300, while the V25 has a MediaTek Dimensity 900. The Vivo V25 Pro also has a larger battery and supports up to 66 watt flash charging. Finally, it might not be that obvious when you take a look at this spec sheet, but the Vivo V25 Pro actually has superior cameras to the V25. While the numbers might look the same, its main and selfie cameras actually have larger image sensors. What does that mean in real life? I'm curious to know too, but don't worry, we're going to take both phones out on a photo walk tomorrow as part of our 24 hour test. Also, I'm curious to know where in New York you'd like us to check out. If there's a place that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments section below. Ooh, take a look. It's now a rich orange, while this guy is now a rich blue which by the way, are gadget match colors. The Vivo V25 is available in aquamarine blue, sunrise gold, and diamond black. And as long as you get either the blue or the gold model, you'll have that color changing fluoride AG glass. The aquamarine blue changes from blue to green. Sunrise gold, as you saw, goes from yellow to orange. Meanwhile, the Vivo V25 Pro is available in surfing blue and starlight black. And as you saw earlier, our surfing blue model changed from a light sky blue to a deep ocean blue when hit by UV light. And that was our Vivo V25 and V25 Pro unboxing and first look. If you're excited to pick one up, don't worry, we'll put pricing and availability information on gadgetmatch.com. We're about to also go out and shoot our 24R video, so make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to get notified as soon as we upload. Sample photos and whatnot will be posted on my Instagram account, so make sure to follow me there. And for news and updates, gadgetmatch.com should be your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.